Welcome to part two of the series. In this video, we'll explain how aperture affects the look of your photographs and why it's so important when envisioning the composition of your images. Simply put, aperture determines how much of your photo is in focus and how much is out of focus and also by how much. Photographers call this concept depth of field. The question is, how much of your photograph would you like to have in focus? For that reason, aperture is usually the first setting to consider when composing your image. Shutter speed and ISO will be determined afterwards to compensate for whatever setting you've chosen for your aperture. Here's an easy way to think about it. Imagine the place you're taking your photo from an overhead perspective. There'll be your subject, then everything in the foreground, and everything in the background. Envision this space with lines on it like a football field. With the lines in place, your field of view is now broken up into these sections. Using the aperture adjustment on your camera, you'll determine how many of these sections are in sharp focus and how many are out of focus, creating depth of field. The lower the actual number of your aperture setting, the fewer elements of your photo will be in focus and the more light will be let into your camera. The higher the actual number or numeric value of the aperture setting, the more of your photo will be in focus, but less light will be let into your camera. And that's really where the balance comes into play. In this example, we start with an aperture setting of, say, f8, and this much of the field of view is in focus. Remember that aperture values aren't relative, so f4 isn't half as in focus as f8, for example. Learning about f-stop values is a more advanced subject, and we'll cover that in a future video. The only things you need to remember right now are the lower the actual number of your aperture setting, less of your image will be in focus, and more light will be let into your camera whereas the higher the actual number of the aperture setting, more of your image will be in focus, but less light will be let into your camera. Now it's time to move on to part three, where we'll cover shutter speed and how to set it properly to get the images that you see in your head.